Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Chromium OS on a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 with 2 gigs of RAM. You can use the 4 gig version as well. That will provide you more efficiency on Chromium OS. Before starting this video, I would like you to please go ahead and access this website. The link is on the top right corner, pcmac.biz, Chromium OS underscore Raspberry Pi dot HTML. In this document, I have listed all the downloaded link that is required in this tutorial you can go through this website link and if you like my work you can go and subscribe to my channel and you can also support us on patreon.com so let's do it To begin the tutorial, first of all, we need to download the Chromium OS image. So I have documented the link right here. Let's go ahead and click on it. Once we do that, it will take us to the GitHub website and you can see Chromium OS for Raspberry Pi 4B. So let's move down and you can see the link right here. Chromium OS image R77 minus RPI4.IMG.XZ. So you can download the image right here. I have already downloaded the image to reduce the time of the tutorial. So I'll show you the image and the image is right here and it's around 532 MB. Now what we need to do is we need to open SD card formatter and format the SD card required for this image. I have using a uh, 16 gigs of SD card. Let me just insert it to my computer and as you can see once I have inserted the SD card it's automatically detected by the computer. Let's just name it as Chromium and format the SD card. Now the SD card is formatted successfully. Now we will go ahead and use Etcher to write the image to our SD card. It will take around five to six minutes. Let's just go ahead and select the image. Select the target and start the flashing. So I'll be back. Now the image is successfully flashed to the SD card. Let's close this application and take out the SD card. Then we will insert it into our Raspberry Pi and I'll show you the installation process of Chromium OS on Raspberry Pi 4. Now I have plugged in my SD card to my Raspberry Pi 4 and it will directly take us to the Chromium installation screen. As you can see, we can see the Chromium logo and it will take us to the installation in a moment. Now as you can see the welcome screen, let's go ahead and click on let's go and Ethernet is connected. If you want you can connect it to the Wi-Fi as well. Let's just show you and it will show the 5G and the 2G network because Raspberry Pi have dual antenna, dual Wi-Fi antenna. So let's just go ahead and click on this one and type the password. And it's connecting. It will connect in a moment. As you can see, checking for update. Once it's get the internet connection, it will start updating your operating system by itself. You don't need to do anything. Now it will ask you to log into your Gmail email address. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see now it's trying to load Google Assistant. 
and once the assistant is loaded completely we are in the welcome screen of our chromium os it will take a moment and as you can see google assistance so let's just skip this step we can do it later and if you want to take a tour you can do that let's just take a tour and next and finish you can see you can sign out turn off the system from here and we are connected through ethernet and the bluetooth is also turned on let's just click on turn it off go back and from here you can search for the web let's just select type pc mac and look for it let's check whether it's working or not so it will directly open the chrome os for us and it opened my reset safari document let's just open the pc mac website so the website is loaded successfully let's just try to load youtube and check whether it's working or not so youtube.com and you can see the page loaded successfully you can try to use this chromium os on your raspberry pi and share your thoughts in the comment section if you come across any problem let me know in the comment section and i try to answer them that's it from my end if you like my work please go ahead and share this video with your family and friends don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.